Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition here of the Z Code System video. Drew here, and it's great to have you back with us. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the UEFA Euro 2020 tournament, which is coming up on June 11th. That's Friday. It's going to be kicking off with some big games going on, and the weekend is going to be packed with great international football for you to watch, bet on, and enjoy. Now, the Euro 2020 tournament is, uh, well, was postponed last summer. Uh, it was supposed to come to us, uh, but unfortunately, due to COVID-19, the tournament was postponed and is now kicking off this summer. And there are going to be actually quite a few uh, very high-profile international soccer tournaments going on this year. Uh, in the build-up to next year, 2022's World Cup. Uh, we're going to have the Euros, which kick off on the 11th, as I said before. We're also going to have the Copa America, which is the uh, basically the equivalent of the Euros going on in South America. And we're going to talk about that in a later video uh, this week. And that's going to be kicking off, I believe it is the 13th of June, uh, off the top of my head. And then we're also going to have in North America, we're going to have the CONCACAF uh, Gold Cup. Uh, that's going to be taking place. And that is going to be the team's from North America, which would include uh, the USA and Mexico and Canada, uh, as well as teams from South America, sorry, sorry not South America, Central America, uh, such as uh, Costa Rica and Honduras. Um, those countries all be going at it for the uh, Gold Cup this summer. So there's going to be a lot of football and soccer going on, international high profile matches. Um, and despite the the clubs being off for the summer, the, the clubs in Europe, that is, um, from the major leagues, uh, we're going to be having some great international soccer going on and some great chances for you to wager on those games. And at Zico System, we're going to be profiling those games. We're going to be listing those and we're going to be giving you a lot of picks uh, going forward. And um, we'll definitely be giving you some picks, especially for this Euro 2020 tournament, which I'm a huge fan of the Euros, uh, more so than the Copa America and more so than the uh, the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Um, the Euros is just uh, such a great tournament to watch. And, you know, they say a lot of the times that it is much more difficult to win the European tournament, the European championships, that is, uh, than the World Cup. Um, there are 24 teams that are going to be playing this year. And um, we're going to be seeing that whittled down uh, after the group stage down to 16. And we'll go from there in knockout cup football. So um, a lot to uh, to be excited about this summer. So as you can see there on your, your computer screen or your mobile, uh, we have the blog that is up, the UEFA Euro 2020 tournament and the best nations and some of the, some of the best players, not all the best players, but some of the best players in the world will be competing in this tournament, Cristiano, Ro Cristiano Ronaldo will be there. Um, Jaden Sancho will be there. Harry Kane will be there. We're going to see Thomas Mueller there. Um, a lot of great players are going to be at this tournament, and there's going to be a lot at stake uh, going forward. Now, um, last time uh, we had the Euros, that was 2016. We saw Portugal win the European Championships, uh, the trophy, in a great final against France. And this was a Portugal team that not a lot of people uh, had picked uh, before the tournament to go through and to win it. Portugal had you know, done well in tournaments, but not done well enough to win uh, silverware. Uh, but they did it uh, on that occasion in 2016. And they did it without Cristiano Ronaldo on the pitch. He suffered an injury early in the match and was substituted and uh, was basically a cheerleader uh, for most of the match. And uh, Portugal were able to defeat, um, at the time, the team that everybody expected to win, the Trophy France, who were playing on home soil as well. And uh, France did end up going on two years later and winning the 2018 World Cup. So, um, you know, a, a lot of uh, things came out of that that final. Um, Portugal winning a first ever Euros and um, France going on to win the World Cup in 2018 in Russia. Now, we're going to be seeing um, uh, a great France team going at it again this time around. We're going to look at some odds in just a minute uh, on, on one of my favorite uh, betting websites, usually the one that my go-to betting website, Bets365. So we're going to look at the odds on that uh, on the teams in just a second. But um, France, uh, they're going to go into this uh, tournament as the odds-on favorite, according to leading sportsbooks. They're ranked number two in the world behind Belgium, who is ranked number one. I don't see why, because France is the reigning World Cup winners, and they are a team that has a wealth of talent. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Um, Portugal um, also going into this tournament, um, not one of the favorites, I'll, I'll, I'll say that. Uh, I believe they have the sixth best odds uh, to win the um, to win the Euros. Um, but I think they're going to be a sleeper team, so definitely a team to watch out for. But there's some other teams, and we'll talk about them, we'll touch, about, touch on them in just a second, uh, that could 
uh, really do well at this year's Euros. Um, now, in case you don't know, in case you're not too familiar with the Euros, like I said before, 24 teams will be playing in this uh, tournament. Uh, those 24 teams are split into uh, groups of four, and there are going to be six groups. Now, the top two teams in each group qualify for the next round, the knockout phase, and the four best third place teams uh, on points uh, will qualify with them. So, you know, if, when you're doing your betting on the Euro 2020 tournament, you need to really look at the groups, see which teams are in the groups, um, because you might have a group that uh, where teams are just going to beat up on each other and there are going to be some uh, difficult groups for teams to come through. Uh, there is one group of death uh, in this tournament, and that's one they really keep your eye on, and that is the group with France, Portugal, Germany, and Hungary. That's going to be a really interesting group, and uh, I think that uh, me personally, I think France and Portugal are going to come out of that, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Germany fail to qualify for the knockout stages. Now, again, we'll talk more about that as we go on through the tournament, uh, and as I give some picks later on uh, when we have those videos and blogs come up on the Z Code System website. Now, of course, you can always use the tools at Z Code System, and we're going to look at one in just a little bit the Soccer Buddy tool where you can get great predictions on score predictions and wins predictions for the games coming up in the Euros. Now, let's look at the odds for the European Championships coming up, uh, kicking off again on Friday, June 11th. Now, if I don't cover uh, some things here in this uh, video, you can always go over to the blog there. That's right there on the zcodesystem.com backslash blog website and read up on some of the other things uh, that I've written about uh, going to this tournament and uh, you know mapping out a little bit of the tournament. So let's look at those odds now for the teams coming up for the tournament. Okay, guys, so there are the odds right there on your screens. Uh, and again, I'm using Bet365. It's my favorite sports book. Uh, of course, there are lots of other sports books that you may uh, may use or may enjoy. Um, this is the one that I primarily use. And so I'm just showing you the odds here. Uh, and these odds are um, uh, as of right now on uh, Tuesday the 8th. Uh, so these odds are, are coming at you. So we've got France. They are favorites to win the tournament at uh, plus 450. Um, this is a great France team, and they're coming off of winning the World Cup in 2018 in Russia, where they beat Croatia in the final. Uh, this is a team with an embarrassment of riches uh, in, the, in, in the whole side. Um, they have the depth. They have uh, everything that you can ask for in a national team. Um, and they've got, uh, you know, if, if they have an injury, if they suffer an injury in this, in this tournament, they're going to be able to replace those players uh, with equally good players. Um, I love France to win this tournament. I think that they could walk this tournament. Um, they will have a little bit of issues maybe in the group stage. Um, it's a sticky group stage, um, like I said, with Portugal, Germany, and Hungary in that group. But I like France to come out on top and Germany actually not to qualify for the next round. Now, I know Germany did smash Latvia yesterday 7-0. Um, again, it's Latvia. Um, they're a third-tier um, European national team. So I think Germany will actually have quite a lot of trouble getting through the group. Uh, for me, it's a transition phase for Germany. But you can see there, Germany are plus 700 to win the Euros. Uh, and you'll remember if you cast your mind back to the 2014 World Cup when Germany won that trophy. Um, now, if you have a, a listen to former Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger, he believes France are super favorites to win this tournament because they're just that damn good. And he's right, they are. Um, and he did think that England are the team that can give them the most difficulty in the Euros. Now, as you can see there, England are plus 500 to win the European tournament, the European Championships, that is. Um, I like this England team as well. Uh, it's not just because I live in England, but um, I think this is a very talented England team. And if you go back to the 2018 World Cup, England finished fourth in that tournament. Um, they did really, really well. I think they surprised a lot of uh, a lot of people. Um, but this is a team that's really kicked on and and uh, continued to improve. They're not as reliant on Harry Kane as they were uh, two, three years ago. Um, they have a more balanced side and a side that are going to, I think, I would like to think, go deep in this tournament. Um, they have a group that they can definitely get out of. Uh, Czech, uh, the Czech Republic, uh, Croatia, and Scotland are all in their groups. Uh, are all in their group, that is, and they should be able to come out of that on top. Now, you know, England have long done well in qualifying and pretty well in group stages, but failed in the knockout rounds. I could see them doing that again. 
Um, but I think this is a very good England team um, that can do, again, very well at this tournament. Uh, we see Belgium there, plus 550. They are the number one ranked team in the world, but they have an aging golden generation of players. Uh, and I think this is their, well, this is going to be the last chance for this core team to win the Euros. And um, one of the last, uh, one of two last chances for this golden generation to win a piece of silverware with the World Cup coming up next year. I actually am not that high on this Belgian team like I was, uh, say, two years ago, three years ago at the World Cup. Kevin De Bruyne right now suffering an injury. He broke his nose and cheekbone during the Champions League final. Uh, I believe at the moment, last I heard, he's going to miss the first game or be held out of the first game, uh, but could come back after that. Uh, his miss uh, or his absence will be a big blow. But I just I just don't like this Belgium team like um, I have previously uh, in other tournaments. Now, let's look at um, two teams that I think could be sleepers uh, in the Euros uh, if you're doing some outright betting before the tournament. Um, and one of those teams is Portugal, plus 800 to win the European Championships. Um, yes, they do center around Ronaldo, um, who is a fantastic player, but this is a team that... Not quite as deep as France, but they've got a lot of good players uh, throughout that team. Bruno Fernandes, Ruben Neves, Diago Jota, uh, Schwa Felix, if he can really rise to the occasion, he a lot of potential, a lot of expectations on him that he's never uh, lived up to. Um, could this be the time that he finally lives up to that? I think this is a very good Portugal team who's not as reliant on Ronaldo as they were when they won the Euros in 2016. And I think that they could be a sleeper team. Could they win it? Absolutely. Um, really, it, it all comes down to me. If they were try to rely on Ronaldo to do everything, I think they will fail. If they can play as a team, then this is a Portugal side that is going to do very, very well in the tournament. Um, my other sleeper team that I'm looking at right here is Italy. Italy has been brilliant uh, under Roberto Mancini since he's taken over the national team. They are playing very well defensively. Um, they are suffocating teams classic Italian soccer. So I think that this is a, a team that could do very well, go very deep in the tournament, and like Portugal, could be a sleeper to win the tournament. Now, my favorite, my pick, I'm going to give it to you now, is France to win. I think this is a great team to win, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Italy and Portugal going deep in the tournament and possibly upsetting France some point uh, as we go on. Uh, again, like I said, Italy have that suffocating defense that they've really relied on, great spine, um, great, great goal scorer in Chiro Mobile. Um, but, uh, you know, I think this is a team that really, really relies on their defending and goalkeeping. Uh, Portugal, of course, with Ronaldo, can rise to the occasion uh, on any game. Uh, but I, like I said, I like France to win the tournament and to do the double in well, four or five years of winning the World Cup in 2018 and winning the uh, Euro Championship in 2021. At the tournament, I guess that would be three years, not five years. So um, that's my pick, really, to win this tournament. Now I'm going to be coming back to you every so often here on the YouTube channel and on the blog with picks for this summer's tournament as we cover some of the games that go on. And you know what? I'll try to get a video up this week um, showcasing or, or showing off, picking, I guess I should say, the games coming up this week, and I'll give a few choice cuts uh, for this week. And I also want to preview the Copa America before it kicks off uh, coming up in a week or so. Uh, now, before I go real quickly, I just want to show you the tool that uh, you should be using this summer for all of your soccer betting needs. Now, if you've watched our videos here on YouTube before, you will know that I am a big fan of the Soccer Buddy tool, and you can get that on Z Code System, Soccer Buddy tool right there, professional sports investing tools, and you can use this to get great predictions on all of the top games, leagues, not even the top leagues, you can get any leagues that you want really um, in soccer. And uh, just to show you the, some of the leagues that you can get, uh, today is the 8th of June. So I'm just going to click on that. And you know, not a lot of soccer going on right now just because a lot of the major leagues have uh, ended or you've got some leagues that have uh, gone on hiatus just for a couple of weeks, just because of all the big tournaments coming up. But you can see there, we've got the Argentina Primera C Metropolitana. That is one of the lower leagues there in Argentina. So we have so much different, uh, or so many different leagues that we cover here, um, giving you the picks and predictions 
on the VIP. And we even got the Sweden Super Super Tan, uh, which is the second division there in Sweden. But uh, if I just show you here on the 11th, we have the kickoff of the Euros, which is right there. And of course, you've got all these different leagues that are going to be playing on Friday. Of course, I'll be watching the Euros. Uh, but we've got the game that will be played. And, and this is a free pick here for you. Um, we've got this game that's going to be played between Italy and Turkey. And as you can see there, we've got a pick of Italy winning 2-1. See if there's a hot trend. No hot trends at the moment. Um, and then we've got some value bets there. You can look at it at the bottom. But uh, like I said, you'll be able to follow through or follow the entire tournament throughout the month of June and July, picking uh, and getting predictions here on the Soccer Buddy tool. So definitely go over and use that. And if you don't know how it works, all you got to do is click on that. And you've got a great video there from Z Code System that will give you a tutorial on how this works, how the Soccer Buddy works, and uh, you know why to use it. Uh, but otherwise, go over there and get your picks, get your predictions. And if you're not a member of Z Code System, sign up now and uh, stay tuned with us. Uh, of course, you can always come back here to the YouTube channel and get more great information from these videos and also over the blog. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe to Z Code System here on YouTube because that helps us too. Um, we really appreciate you signing up and also hit that thumbs up, like the video and share it. Share it with uh, all of your soccer friends and fans who want to do some betting, uh, whether you're in the US, whether you're in Europe, whether you're down under in Australia, uh, give us a, a like, subscribe and share it with someone and also please uh, comment down below. Let us know what games you're looking forward to in the group stage of the Euro tournament. And uh, perhaps we can cover a specific game that you want to, uh, you're interested in betting on. So if you're interested in possibly that France versus Portugal game coming up in the group stage, let me know. And I will be sure to cover that here on the videos on YouTube. So guys, good luck this weekend with the first round or the group stage of the European Championships 2020. I can't wait. I'll be watching it on Friday night, watching that and all through the weekend. So uh, let me know what you think and uh, we will see you soon here on Z Code System.